here's my new purchase uh brand new dump trailer i ordered it at thanksgiving and it just showed up they're a little behind and they have a huge demand for dump trailers it seems that one they ordered an extra one whenever i got mine and a guy came wanted to buy mine and ended up buying that one right there so just like that they uh they sold them and uh, they can't keep them on the lot so uh here it is it's a 14 foot 14,000 gvw just like my other one but better built more uh heavy duty i'm actually going to keep my other one i was going to sell it but uh, i found a new business idea for it so i'm going to keep it around for a while anyways i went with the pinnel hook uh as usual and this jack is pretty heavy duty i'm not sure 12,000 pound jack a 10,000 lift capacity 12,000 support um, it's pretty heavy duty more heavy duty than my other one uh, i like that the box is inside the frame on this one my last one i damaged and i uh, had to put a replacement box on it and then if you open it there's a tray in here that lifts out the battery and pump are underneath and then they have this tray on top for you to put stuff i really like that way nicer than my other one you got your remote this is a wire remote i'm gonna look actually i should have talked to them before i ordered i'd like to get the wireless remote because dealing with the wire it looks long enough to go up to the cab which is good but uh the wireless remotes are awesome so lockable box this is like a low profile dump so it actually the the frame not the frame but the uh, dump body frame hugs the frame of the trailer as you can see right here so it actually is considered low profile sits lower on the frame and the frame is bigger my other frame i think is five inches this is eight inch i-beam so you're not breaking that eight inch i-beam unless you I mean, I, you would have to have some extremely serious weight. I got the tarp system on this one. So it, it tucks up under the front. I believe to use it, it actually flips over the top here and locks in the back. They have uh, these, little, these little strap hooks, well, eyelets for you to hook your tarp or whatever you're using. I got the steak pocket beds it was a little extra but not too much if you look inside one thing i really like about this trailer is the seams on the uh the floor of the dump trailer you can see here that there's uh it looks like three panels other than the weld around the the corners it's just got the two seams um some have it down the middle as you saw those big text trailers that i looked at had that weird trim around the outside i don't know what that's about but i did not like that at all especially with the gap under some of them where there was just tack welded you're gonna get stuff material stuck in there and rust uh the step doesn't seem too heavy duty it's just uh i don't know it looks like quarter inch steel but my other step on my other trailer is pretty built pretty well and it has uh steps right here to get up on the fenders we get these cutouts here there for uh hooking your tarp and then i'll i'll put the boards in here in between and uh you can reinforce the boards with the the stake pocket so you can see a little bit of attention to detail right here this was not painted so you can see it's already got a little I'll hit that with some spray paint that matches but just things like that my nature I'm a aircraft inspector so I tend to it's not a a good skill to have it's a good trade but it's not a good skill you always notice the defects in like everything you look at and nobody wants you to point out what's wrong with work they've done or anything like that but as you can see here uh, when they're painted it didn't get painted well underneath here in these pockets so it's already got a little surface rust so i'll touch that up it's got the um 
the barn doors so I can load equipment and it's got the gate the chains are up in the box I'll have to figure out how to put them on but you so I can tailgate material if I need to nice heavy-duty levers I didn't look at the lights it has a lot of little marker lights there's a I like where they have the license plate bracket I broke my last license plate off my other trailer and had to get a new one but aluminum ramps I don't know we'll see how that goes um, they now have aluminum ramps they're a lot I think they're a lot lighter but I talked to the dealers and they said skid steers and everything aren't a problem on them so we'll see other than that I, uh, I paid $8,500 out the door for this trailer set up like this. It was a little bit extra money for the gray paint versus the black is the standard, which is fine, but I don't know. I just wanted gray this time, so I spent a couple extra hundred dollars for the paint upgrade. Uh, I did not get the spare tire was the only thing. The Big Tex did include everything. The Big Tex trailers included the tarp, the spare tire, the stake pockets, everything was included, but I didn't think the trailer was built as well. Definitely a decent trailer, but um, I didn't like the way that they were built. So right here you got your spare tire. I have a spare tire at the house I can put on here. Wheel and tire, I should say. Uh, it's got four D-rings in the, in the bed. To strap equipment which is fine my other one has four also uh, these ones are on the corner of the floor my other huh my other one is uh, it's actually on the bedside but one weird thing about this trailer that I just noticed is I thought they would weld the corner the seam along the bottom of the the sidewall but it's actually cocked so I don't know if I'm crazy about that I wish they would have ran a bead of weld and painted it but it is welded and cocked so that's different my other ones just welded um, other than that I'll take a look underneath whenever I get it back to the house we can put the bed up and and check it out uh, I do like the uh, the jack handle actually stows here with this little holder. That's pretty cool. Another thing, there's grease points, Zerk fittings that have grease on them. I don't know if they grease these because they're painted and there's no grease on them. So I'll hit those with grease whenever I get home. another cool feature here this is actually spring loaded it wants to suck the plate up so when you pull out on this it's spring loaded and you actually have to push down it actually wants to spring load I've never seen that before that's pretty sweet because the other ones you got to lift them up and then pin them I like this spring load this pin and you have to push down on it That's pretty cool. The power jack's nice, not needed, and it just wastes more battery power, so I can crank it. But it is an option. Like that. I like how fast actuating that is. It could just be a good battery. I'm not 
going to take it all the way up because I don't have it connected to the truck anymore. I don't think it'll tip up, but I don't want to find out. Nice, really big actuator underneath there. I like seeing that. That thing is a uh, nice, beefy actuator. Scissor lift. Uh, big cross member here. The frame is massive I like that the axles look pretty good size it doesn't have a lot of cross members but i guess when they're stout like that it doesn't need as many it doesn't have a tray in here some have like a basket tray in here uh, you can put chains or whatever in and keep them with the the bed down that locked or it's kind of like a locked box but it doesn't have that not a big deal you could always add it if you have welding skills But we'll take uh, some more looks at this in the future. The ramps, how these doors work. I got to put some chains on it for gating. But really pleased with it overall.